with my life is a miracle. Every child has a story of, of God's love to share. Shalom world, tune into God's love story. Hey Coco. Do you want a cracker? Because you really crack me up. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, I won. Winning every day with Coco. And I'm wearing my kitty. What? That was not a real laugh. Still a laugh. Kitty and Coco. Whatever, Coco. The kids and I know it was not a real laugh. And that's all that counts. Whatever, Katie. I know it does count. And that's all that matters to me. Hey, Coco. <laughs> there we go. That's a real laugh. That counts. Huh. Play with Katie and Coco. Come and play. Play with Katie and Coco. That's the way. Get ready. Let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie. You and I together. Meeting my friends. Friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. That help us. Day. Katie and Coco play and sing, pray and bring you and now we do our thing. It's Katie and Coco. Let's start by going over your tongue twister from last time, Coco. Take it away. All right. A big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug, Coco. How are the kids gonna do it with you if you do it so fast? I was just showing them how well I can say it. Oh well, sorry to take away your spotlight, Mr. Cockatoo, but the point is to teach the kids not to show off your own talent. Fine, I'll do it real slowly. A big bug with the little beard. Come on, Coco. <laughs> I made it, Katie. I'm pretty funny, aren't I? A big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Wow, Katie! Come on, Coco. Come on, kids, do it with me. A, A big, big bug, bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle, 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 beetle bit the big bug back. A, A big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. Yeah. Wow. Let's tell a story, Katie. Let's tell a story. What do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping? Um, a tired Saurus Rex. Mm, a dino snore. What kind of tree fits in your hand? A really small tree? A palm tree. <sighs> Why did the student eat his homework? Because he forgot his lunch. Rah, rah. Because the teacher told him it was a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing's fun, isn't it, Coco? It's my favourite thing to do. Mine too. Do you kids love to laugh? Maybe you know some funny jokes. Or maybe you like watching funny movies. Or maybe you just like laughing together with your friends. Well, you probably do all of those. Everyone loves to laugh. And even better is when you make someone else laugh. I mean, imagine how boring it would be if we had to be serious all the time. Oh yes, good day, sir. And how was the weather? Oh, just fine, isn't it? Oh, but would you look at the time? I have to be off to work at once. Can't stay to enjoy it. Oh, imagine that. Of course, we have to be serious sometimes, but we should never think that we can't have fun at all or that it's bad when someone else laughs at us and we do something funny. Ready? Let's make funny faces together. <laughs> oh, Coco, you're a funny bird. Shall we try doing a funny dance? Ready? Get up if you're sitting and let's do one together. Ready? <laughs> it's really fun, isn't it? Okay, now stop smiling. It's time to be serious because we're talking about God. What? That's the silliest thing I've said yet. Imagine how bored God would be if he had to watch us walk around all day like this. No one wants to see that. That would be like if I talked to you kids like this. 
Hello children, welcome. Today I'm going to tell you a story. So sit quietly and listen while I... <laughs> oh, Coco, Coco, wake up! Oh, phew, that was a close one. Are you with us again, Coco? Ah, oh, I think so. You're right, it's much better when you're not serious. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Anyway, why am I telling you all this? Well, one of my friends called Philip Neri knew just how important it was to be happy and cheerful and make people laugh, especially serious people. Philip was surrounded by serious people, living in Rome almost 500 years ago and eventually becoming a priest. Philip saw lots of people in the church who thought they had to be serious all the time. They thought they weren't serious. People would think they were silly and not important. Why did they think that, Cody? Well, because they wanted to be respected, but they thought that well, they wouldn't be respected if that people saw them laughing. They thought laughing was only for silly people. Oh, that sounds pretty silly to me. It sounds silly to me too. But did Philip think he had to be serious? Not at all, Coco. In fact, Philip did funny things all the time because he didn't want people to think he was important. Why didn't he want to be important? Well, because he thought, why should people think I'm important when I'm not any better than they are? Philip didn't want people to look to him. He wanted people to look to God. And did they look up to God? Well, after they had met Philip, people couldn't stop looking up to God. One young man was taught this in a rather peculiar way. Philip saw that he was being too serious. So he got upside down and stood on his head to make the young man laugh. Imagine that. Can you get stand on your head? It sounds a bit hard, but do you reckon we should give it a go? Ready? Let's be really careful so we don't hurt ourselves. Ready? Whoa! Whoa, look at me. The world looks so crazy from here. <laughs> oh, wow. Some of you probably did better than me, but at least we tried. I wonder if Philip could stand on his head properly. Ah, 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 ah. Philip was right. That does make me laugh. Ah, 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 ah. Was that the only thing he did? No, Coco. Philip did things like that all the time. Do you kids like cats? I don't. I'm scared of cats. Ah. Well, Philip wasn't scared of cats. He liked them, but he knew that some of the important people who were serious all the time would be embarrassed if they were seen with a cat. So, in order to help them overcome their seriousness, he would make them walk around the streets holding a cat. Meow, meow. I'm glad he didn't ask me. But Katie, did people still think Philip was important, even though he did funny things like that? It was certainly very tempting. Why? Well, because even though Philip didn't like to show off and didn't like people to think he was important, it was still hard not to look up to him because of all the good things that he did. What kind of things did he do? Help people. Do you guys like to make friends? Philip loved to make friends. In fact, he spent his whole life making friends with other people so that they could be friends with Jesus just like he was. During the day, he would walk around Rome, chatting with people, telling them about Jesus, helping people, encouraging others to help in hospitals. He wanted to make all the friends for Jesus that he could. And then during the nighttime, he would spend it talking to Jesus in prayer, introducing all his new friends and asking for the grace to help him find even more. That's cock amazing! Are the kids friends with Jesus? I hope so. Jesus wants us all to be friends with him. Shall we ask Philip to help us become better friends with Jesus and to help us find more friends with him as well? Good idea! Thank you, St. Philip Neri, for showing us how to laugh and to be silly in the eyes of other people so that we can be taken seriously by God. Let us always point others towards God rather than to ourselves and not be afraid to share our friendship with Jesus so that we can become better friends with him as well. Well, another cool friend, what do you think? I think yes, and I should think the kids think yes as well. Do you think? I do think. Do we think right, kids? I think that's a yes. Yes, I think you're right. I think we think we're the same. Yes, I think we established that. I think not quite sure we did, actually. Well, I think we know we did. I think I don't know what we're thinking anymore. Uh, well, I'll give you something else to think about then. Hmm, I think I know what you're thinking of. Do you think so, do you? Even better, I think I know so. Ah, I see. And what do you think you know that I'm thinking of? I think I know that you're thinking of a dog twister. And I know that I'm not even one little bit scared. Wow, I know, I'm impressed. 
You think you're not even the tiniest bit scared? Kids, I don't think Kaylee quite remembers how well I did the first time, Krista. Bread, bed, Ted, bread, bread, and Ted, bed, bed, bread, bread. Yeah, Coco, I think you and I remember that a bit differently. Ted had a bread. Coco, that's not what I said. Let's try that again. All right, I'll give you a reminder. Ted fed Fred bread. And Ted fed Fred a bed. A bed? I mean, I mean the last tongue twister. My one, not the first one. A big bug bit the little beetle. But the little beetle bit the big bug back. All right, all right, I remember. I was just making sure. Good. Now, I think we should get started on our next tongue twister. Good thinking, Coco. Let's do it right now. Ready? This is how it goes. Crisp crusts crackle and crunch. Do you want to try saying it with me now? Wow. Ready? Crisp. Crisp. Crust. Crust. Crackle. Crackle. And crunch. And crunch. Yeah, let's say it all together now. Ready? Crisp, crisp crust, crust crackle, crackle, and, and crunch. crunch. I think you did very well. Bravo. I think we all did very well. There. See? Do you think I went scared? No, you're right. Excellent work, Coco. And you too, kids. Thank you very much. You know what? I think it's craft time. You know what? I think you're right. I think we should go. Yeah! What are we making, Katie? Glad you asked, Coco. Today we're going to be making a smiley mask. Wow! Yeah. So, you remember how Philip Neri always loved to be cheerful and even make other people laugh as well? Yeah! Yeah, well, we are going to be make sure that we are always cheerful and happy all the time, even if we don't really feel like it, by making a mask that will have a smile on it. Okay, so first of all, what we need is a paper plate, some pom-poms, paddle pop sticks, uh, some textures, scissors, a ruler, a pencil, sticky tape, and some craft glue. So to start off, we're going to cut our paper plate in half. So to make sure it's in half, we're gonna get our ruler, put it about halfway, it doesn't have to be perfect, about halfway across, get the pencil and draw a light line across, like that. And then we're going to cut the paper plate in half using our scissors, being very careful with them. We're going to cut along the line. There you go. How does that look, Coco? Yeah, it looks good. Two halves. What do you reckon I'm going to do with them? Shall I put them like this? Is that where my smile goes? No, Katie. Does it go like this? Is that where my smile goes? No, right. What about like this? Is that where my smile goes? Yeah. What about here? Yeah, Katie, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's fun, isn't it? So we're gonna make two different ones. We'll start with this half. Okay, so it's pretty simple. All you need to do, put it there. Get um, maybe a red texture, or what you can really use whatever you like. And we're going to draw a big, happy smile. Yay. There we go. Does that look like a nice smile? Yeah, Katie. Your smile. Yeah, I'm <laughs> smiling. Okay, now we may, might want to fill it in. Awesome. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> okay, now to make it a bit more Fun. We're going to put some pom-poms here to be our cheeks like this. Ooh. And we're going to put them at the side like this. So this is where we need our craft glue. And then we're going to stick it on the edge of the paper plate. Okay, and we'll have to let it dry a little bit, so just be very careful. Don't be moving it around too much. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Oh, I'm happy. Got amazing. Okay, and now to make it just a bit better to hold, we're going to get a paddle pop stick. I've got a purple one. You can use whatever colour you like. 
I'm going to stick it on the other side. So we'll get some sticky tape, stick it on the paddle pop stick like this, and then stick it on the other side of the paper plate. Be careful of the pom poms. Okay, and now we have one smiley mask. Wow, Katie, you're yeah. smiling. Say cheese. <laughs> so if you're feeling like you're not in a happy mood, but you still want to make sure that you're being very cheerful, you can get your, your smiley mask and the world will think that you're very happy, even though you might be having a bad day. Isn't that cool? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing just because we have another half here. Maybe we'll make a bit of a funny face, shall we? Maybe we'll use a different color just to brighten it up a bit. Maybe some pink. It's gonna be a half smile, a bit of a cheeky grin. This one can make someone else laugh, maybe, if they're having a bad day. There we go, so we've got a cheeky grin, half smile. Wow. There we go. Now we're gonna use some pink pom-poms this time just to change it up a bit for our cheeks, our rosy cheeks. So we're gonna do the same thing with the glue. We'll make sure we use enough glue this time. One side. And then stick the other one, guess where? On the other side, hey. Wow. Okay. And we're gonna put the paddle pop stick on again. Get a piece. And then, little paper plate, like this. There we go, now we've got a funny face. Ah. Yeah, make someone else laugh. Does it make you laugh, Coco? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can make whatever funny face you like, or happy face, or whatever. And you can be whatever. Even if you're having a bad day, or someone else is having a bad day, you can be happy and cheerful, just like Philip Neri was. Thanks, Philip Neri, for showing us how to be very happy. If you guys would like some extra instructions on how to do this, you can find them at swpals.org. And yeah, we'd love to see them, wouldn't we, Coco? Yeah, I'm so excited, Katie. Me too. <sighs> What's wrong, Katie? Oh no, what did I do? Did I hurt you? What's wrong, Katie? Come and play, play with Katie and Coco. What? Ha, tricked you. You didn't think I was actually scared, did you, after today? And after we made these funny masks? Ah, oh, Katie. <laughs> She's cheeky, isn't she? I can't deny it. But you know I love you, Coco. I love you too, Katie. And I love the kids. <gasps> I love the kids too. Crisp crusts, crackle and crunch. Your turn. Ah, crisp crusts, or crackle and crunch. Yeah, oh, all yeah. together now. Crisp crusts, crackle, crackle and, and crunch. crunch. Yeah, good job, Coco. Yeah. See you next time, kids. See you next time, kids. Saint Philip Neri, he, he, hmm, Terry Berry. Hmm. Fairy, hairy, dairy, hilarious, hila St. Philip Nelly, hilarious, no, help me out, Coco. Hmm, St. Philip Nelly, St. Philip. I've got it, I've got it. Don't give up, ask St. Philip. Nice, yeah, yeah. Come and play, play with Katie and Coco. That's the way, get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie You and I together Meeting my friends Friends that help us every day Katie and Coco That help us every day Katie and Coco Play and sing Pray and bring you and I We do our thing, it's Katie 